On board this small helicopter, researchers are hoping their operation around Steamboat will help them better understand what, if any, impact we are having on the second largest herd of elk in the world. The Bears Ears elk herd, which is about 20 to 24,000 animals. Scientists and wildlife managers capturing 30 cow elk. We're going to be setting up a camera grid and uh, trail counters here in the spring to look at, uh, you know, try and quantify the human recreation on the, on the landscape. They hope the data collected over the next two years will help them make better management decisions in the future to keep the population healthy. Researchers believe about 500 or so of the elk in this bigger herd actually stay right here in Steamboat for the winter. We found a couple dozen of them actually here in this rancher's field poaching the hay left out for the horses. Experiencing that uh, heavier human recreation footprint on the landscape year round. So, we're interested uh, in how they may be behaviorally uh, responding to that recreation on the landscape. Elsewhere in Colorado, elk herds like the one in the Vale Valley have seen populations declining, and that concerns wildlife managers. They don't want to see the same thing happening here. Learning about these animals and figuring out how to balance human recreation as well as uh, wildlife conservation. And those efforts, of course, complex. There's a lot of factors here, uh, including people in the landscape and predation, all the things that go into managing uh, elk populations. The uh, Parks and Wildlife did tell us they received a couple of concerned phone calls from uh, people in Steamboat saying, hey, you're stressing the elk out with these operations. Parks and Wildlife, though, they say that actually doing this in the winter is easier on the elk because of the deep snow. It helps keep the elk less stressed. We are live. Matt Croshall covering Colorado First.